Your Labrador Retriever's coat comes with a set of fascinating features to withstand whatever nature throws at it. Some of those features may be frustrating, like all that shedding, but it all serves an important purpose. If you're a lab owner, or thinking of adopting, then this will get you up to speed on how to help keep their coat healthy, clean, and a few points on how to control shedding. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Why labs are born to swim. Labradors are like sea lions of the land. And while these dogs were born with four legs for roaming the earth, the Labrador's true calling is the water. If you ever get your lab near a lake or pool then you'll know what I mean. Their coat serves an important function when they go diving head first into the river. You may remember from grade school science that oil and water just don't mix, and they'll naturally separate. Well, your Labrador's undercoat has natural oil secretions among their thick undercoat that repels water and keeps their skin dry. Next time you take your lab for a swim, keep an eye on how fast they dry. You would think that thick coat would act like a sponge, but due to their water-repelling nature all excess water quickly runs off. Bathing and washing Labrador coats. Bathing your lab too often can strip away those natural oils that help protect them leaving them with dry, flaky skin that becomes itchy and uncomfortable. So the ideal time to bathe your dog is when she starts to become a little too stinky, or rolls in something less than attractive. Even then, consider just rinsing them off with lukewarm water instead of a full-on bath, especially if it's just dirt or mud they rolled in. When it is time for a full bath to remove some stink, Use a mild oatmeal or coconut-based dog shampoo that helps keep skin moisturized. Labrador Shedding Do Labs Shed? Oh yes! Don't let that smooth, short hair fool you. They shed an impressive amount of coat during the entire year. But it varies from one Labrador to another, and you may get lucky and find your dog sheds considerably less than others. Either way, twice a year, spring and fall, you'll be treated to a full blowout, where you'll be faced with a seemingly endless amount of shedding for several weeks. This is a healthy and normal response, and shedding is a natural process in which many animals, including you, lose old and damaged hair. So have your vacuum and lint rollers ready, these are definitely shedding dogs. How to control Labrador shedding? Labs shed all year, and will typically, blow, their coat every spring and fall. The amount of hair that comes off a lab can range from moderate to absolutely ridiculous, so let's arm ourselves with a few tools to save some sanity in our homes. 1. Keep a routine of brushing your lab out at least once a week, and twice a week during the spring and fall when they're blowing out their coat. 2. Ensure they're getting a high-quality diet including omega fatty acids this promotes stronger hair follicles and less shedding. 3. Be aware of any dry, flaky, skin, redness, or excessive scratching. If your dog is suffering from allergies, mites, or skin conditions they may be scratching their fur off. Contact your vet to determine the best course of action. 4. Keep your dog in a comfortable environment, a stressed out dog will naturally shed more. A little bit of brushing can go a long way, and they certainly enjoy the attention you give them during this time. During routine brushing, run your hands over their skin and search for any abnormal lumps or bumps. Labs are prone to developing tumors, especially as they age. These are not always cancerous, however discovering and examining these bumps early can help you and your vet determine the best course of action. Can I shave my lab? 
No, shaving your lab can be detrimental to their health and overall comfort. Some owners mistakenly believe that shaving their dog during hot weather will help them be more comfortable. However, double-coated dogs require their coat to regulate body temperature, protect them from weather, and to act as a natural barrier against harmful UV rays. Also, some allergy sufferers believe shaving your dog will reduce allergic reactions. Also not true. Allergies are triggered from pet dander, which are particles of skin that shed all year. In fact, shaving them will make it worse, as you expose their skin even further. And as a final warning, once you shave a double-coated dog their top coat hairs generally will not grow back in the same way. This will leave you only with guard hairs, which is rough and patchy. That beautiful, silky lab coat will never look the same again. Coat Colors Labrador Retrievers come in three primary colors, black, yellow, and chocolate. However, there are some lesser-known and unrecognized colors, described as silver, red, and white. First of all, major kennel clubs only recognize the three primary colors, however red and white labs may just be a false interpretation. Yellow labs come in many different shades, from a deep orangey color to a faded, nearly white, yellow. These are sometimes mistaken as red and white, but are essentially yellow labs and are still recognized colors by kennel clubs. However, silver labs are not recognized from clubs, and may be a crossbreed. There is little known about the silver labs, and is speculated to be a crossbreed with Weinreimers. In very rare cases there are brindle Labradors, again this is considered a fault by kennel standards. Brindle is unique orange or tan color markings that appear due to a recessive gene. Sometimes called, tiger strips, it's like a marble effect, and in some cases may faintly appear on the coat, muzzle, or front legs. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.